Hi, I'm Juliana, a fourth grader at Vanguard Elementary School. There has been a lot of talk about valuation and how it will impact property taxes lately. I had no idea what this all meant, so I did what my teachers always tell me to do. I problem solved. That means I went out and learned about millage and property valuation. Did you know there are two types of millage? Outside millage is what our taxpayers approve when they vote. Inside millage is actually written into the Ohio Constitution. The Ohio Constitution says that taxpayers in our state have to pay 1% of their property value to fund local government. 1% of property taxes equals 10 mills. For us, that means Butler County, Westchester, and Liberty Townships, and Lakota Local Schools. That's my school. Here's the tricky part. Inside millage is the only millage that can actually collect more or less money because property values can change. And inside millage always collects 1% in Ohio. Right now, Lakota, which is my school district, gets 6.49 mills and the other 3.51 mills helps my community. Outside millage, or what the voters approve, can actually change. This is because the amount of tax money my school collects can't be more than what the voters agree to. For example, if the value of the houses in my school district go up, the Butler County Auditor would decrease Lakota's effective millage. That means my parents and others in our community would pay less in outside millage to Lakota. Remember, Lakota can only collect the amount that the voters approve. Why? Because of this thing called House Bill 920. House Bill 920 isn't new. It was established in 1976. This is tough to understand. It really gave me a headache. The simplest way I can explain it is that the bill talks about outside millage, or the mills that the voters approve. It makes sure that our local government, which includes Lakota, receives the same amount of money from the property taxes that they did last year. So like I said before, if property values go up, effective millage goes down. If property values went down, the effective millage would go up, and my parents would be grumpy. The only way our millage would stay the same is if our property values never changed for the whole community. This is where valuation comes in. Valuation just means how much my parents' property is worth. In the state of Ohio, the county auditors are the ones who appraise the properties, and then the state approves it. Every three years, our county does either an update to property values or a big reappraisal. In 2023, Butler County had an update. The big reappraisal will happen in 2026. When these happen, they could change the tax bills my parents have to pay the following year. However, this is where effective millage comes in. Remember, the Butler County Auditor will increase or decrease Lakota's outside millage, which is the amount voters approve to make sure the schools don't collect more millage than they did last year. So even if the appraised value of our house goes up, my parents won't have to pay that much more in property tax to Lakota. Did you know the last time Lakota asked our community for more funding was back in 2013? That's right before I was born. Phew, that was a lot. I hope it helps you understand property taxes and valuation a little better. Most of all, thank you for supporting kids like me and Lakota local schools.